Hey guys, it's Gatiman here. So recently there's been a lot of info about the maps in Mist of Pandaria and all of the zones and the instances. So I've done a little video about it. So explaining all the zones and what you can do in it and sort of the basics about it. So I hope you like the video. So guys, so this is the first zone where you will start and this is of course the Wandering Isle. Now they say that the Wandering Isle looks like a giant turtle. I've seen a lot of screenshots of this, I don't know if, it, if it's true, but if, it's, if it is true, then that's really cool. So you level from 1 to 10, then you probably stop leveling there and you can go to the mainland where the real faction is Alliance or Horde. So then for Horde you probably go level into the Barons and for the Alliance I actually have no clue where they level because I only made now just an Alliance Charter and he's kinda low level so I really don't know where the Alliance level. Um, but yeah, that, so this is Wandering Eye while you start your Pandarian. So guys, this is the Jade Forest and the Jade Forest is probably the first zone where you will go to if you are you are level 85 because this zone is from level 85 to 86 so what do I think if you're gonna discover this first zone so if you are in the naval combat within with between the Alliance and the Horde this is just a speculation so you're gonna strand on the beach and um, there's gonna be a little Horde encampment they're gonna save you and you will need to explore the uh, the jade forest. Now there's also an instance here. Um, it's called it's called Temple of the Jade Serpent, and the architecture in this uh, in this instance is really cool. It has four bosses, and it's for 85 to 86. So this will be probably the first instance you do, and the first instance that I'm gonna do. There are also two races in this. Um, Two, two kind of sort sort of factions in this uh, map in the in the Jade Forest, and you probably will get exalted with one of them, and then you're gonna be uh, unfriendly with the other one or hatred with the other one. So uh, you you probably, but I'm not really sure. You can buy a lot of cool stuff from the uh, from the vendor there, and yeah. But we've seen a lot of those things in uh, in the other expansions of World of Warcraft, so that's um, that's really cool. I'm looking forward to this zone actually, and to all the different cutscenes that we're gonna get, and uh, and the lore as well. So yeah. So the next zone is the Valley of the Four Winds, and in this zone there's a lot of things going on. Um, first of all, the uh, Mandits or that's some some kind of evil race that there is. Um, they look like a they look like a mantis. So um, they have broken through some wall and threatened the Pandarian, um, and they probably are gonna need our help. So that's probably what the main thing actually that we will do. And there are also some other tribes that threaten the uh, existence of the Pandarian there and attacking their farms, their rice fields, and all of that stuff. So yeah, I hope there will some some cool battles will be going on and some cool animations I have also found a picture of uh, of those things and I found this on MMO champion so normally this should be right so these are the kind of things that we can expect there and then of course we also have an instance there and that is this one and it, there's also storm stout brewery that's the uh, instance it's a uh, it's an instance with uh, three bosses and it's from 85 to 87 and actually it looks uh, really nice I can't wait to do all the stuff um, yeah so onto the next zone 